Hello, I'm Kevin Stewart, Director of Services for Planning, Environment and Economic Development here in Meath County Council. In this short video message, I want to focus on our planning service and how we are continuing to operate during the current period of restrictions. While the Council offices have been closed for a number of weeks, the Planning Department has remained open for business and continues to accept planning applications and work on the ongoing review of our County Development Plan, which is a framework for the development of the County over the next six years. It is a priority for us to get back to a normal level of service, and it is vitally important that we do so, as we will play a key role in helping to restart the local economy and in particular the construction sector. The current situation has had an impact on the Council's planning services. The way in which we do business has been changed in line with public health advice. Sean Clark from our planning team will now outline some of the key changes. With the introduction of emergency legislation by government, all planning timelines have been paused for a period of eight weeks or 56 days. During that time, there have been no face-to-face -face contacts and no site inspections. That decision was necessary and appropriate to ensure the health and safety of everyone involved in the planning process. However, that does not mean that the planning system has stopped. Our team is continuing to work away so as to ensure that when the restrictions are relaxed, we will be ready to implement a full service again without delay. The government's roadmap for reopening society and business envisages a return to some outdoor work from the 18th of May. That should allow us to restart site inspections around then, subject of course to adherence to measures to protect the health and well-being of our staff. While we cannot currently issue decisions, we are continuing to accept and validate planning applications. Since the restrictions were put in place, we have received, validated and registered close to 200 new applications. So we will have a lot of work to do in the next few months and we would appeal for patience as we get through it. It is important to say that the rights of third parties have been protected throughout and the timeframes for making submissions and observations have also been extended by eight weeks as has the time period during which decisions can be appealed. So no one is disadvantaged in any way. In terms of the review of our County Development Plan, which was ongoing at the time of the lockdown, we received in the region of 2,500 submissions during the public consultation process, which ran until the 6th of March. We are currently analysing those submissions and in line with the new timelines, we expect to issue our report on the submissions to our councillors towards the end of July. And of course, there will be further opportunities for people to have their say when amendments to the draft go back on public display later this year. All going well and assuming no further delays, we are aiming to have the new six year county development plan in place by the first quarter of 2021. For updates regarding the plan and to see the process to date, please go to our dedicated county development plan website. I hope this has given you a good flavour of how we are working through the crisis and working with the emergency legislation. It is a frustrating time for those that are involved in the planning process, for the customer that has made an application and for their planning consultants, agents and technical advisors. It's also frustrating for us in trying to provide a good service and to ensure that the planning system continues to operate. I want to thank all our staff our planners, technicians and administrative staff who have worked tirelessly throughout this difficult period and also to acknowledge the cooperation and support that we have received from applicants, from planning practitioners and from agents. We look forward to being up and running again soon and playing our part in helping to get the economy of County Mead back on track. Thank you.